hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer using adobe photoshop so let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches and my resolution is 300 so now I'm going to select my background color. So I'm going to use a gradient tool. Then come over here. Here is my color code. I'm going to copy it. Then control V to paste. Select this one. Come over here to copy the color code. Then control V to paste. Now here increase the opacity to 100 percent Then and the location here. This is 37. Then I'll, I'm going to click OK. So now the next thing we are going to do now. Then I'm going to type my test, select your test tool. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Control C to copy. Then Control plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to impact. Then increase the font size. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then I'm going to copy the rest. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now I'm going to reduce the size of this one to this one. Then use your arrow key then to move it up. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Go back and select your test. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to reduce the size of this one. Then position it around here. Then duplicate this one. Why I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste, then reduce the size, hold your shift key, then and rotate it vertical, then bring it over here, position it around here. Then something like this. Hold your shift key while you select it. Then rotate it this way. Increase the size. Alright. So something like this. Now I'm going to group this one. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. And I'm going to Convert this one to smart object. Then turn this one off. Okay. So having done this one now, then I'm going to bring my image. The background of this one has already been removed. I'll bring the test down here. Something like this. So you can still reduce the size. Alright. 
so having done arrange it like this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to hold down my control key then click on this layer then select the image apply your layer mask then this is what you will have so then now what i'm going to do now then i'm going to turn on my brush background color here then you click here to turn it to white so that is to reveal the image then i'm going to select my brush then i'm going to click around here to erase and reveal the image so something like this okay so having done this one now so i'm going back to my smart object then and i'm going to apply a drop shadow so this setting you are going to make use of this setting here then i'm using uh, normal for my blending mode and my opacity is 100 percent the angle is 90 distance is 8 and the spread is 10 then the size is 13 so then make use of it and i'm going to apply stroke so this stroke you are seeing here the size is going to be 2 then the position outside and the blending mode then apply normal and the opacity i'm going to put 50 percent and the color i'm going to change it to white then click ok so this is the outcome of it so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to create a new layer so create a new layer and i'm going to select a brush select my brush then i'm going to copy this color from here then click ok then i will come over here and click something like this then go to your blending mode and change it to overlay now i'm going to increase the size like this then i'll click ok on it then i'm coming back to this area then i'm going to bring this light to the back there then i'll click ok then go to your blending mode and i'm going to change it to soft light you can see the difference there so soft light overlay then soft light so i'm going to use soft light on it then apply layer mask then i'm going to select my brush reduce the size of your brush and i'm going to erase this area erase this area so something like this okay so now that we are done with that one so the next one i'm going to do now then i'm going to come back here then go to my resource file and i'm going to bring this golden shining then click ok and i'm going to my filter select blur gaussian blur then i'm going to make use of 4.2 then I'll click OK. So this is what you will have. All right. So then we move forward and I'm going to select my test tool. Then select here. Go to the top here. Then you select around here. And I'm going to type plus one. Then change the color to white. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down and i'm going to change the font to poppins then make it bold then i'm going to select my test tool again i'm going to type one then go to your font and i'm going to change the font to adobe garamon pro then you leave it bold now i'm going to bring this one close to this one 
then increase the size a little then bring this one close also i'm going to change this font to the one i make use of now something like this all right then select the two then i'll bring it to this side then go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this one then reduce the size something like this then i'll take it over here so having done this one then i'm going to select my test tool then i'll click here select your test copy it then come over here ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font to poppins then make it bold then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one then i will bring it down select your test tool highlight it and i'm going to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going back to my font to change the font to Brittany signature then come over here this is the color code i'm going to copy it then ctrl plus v to paste then select the top one and i'm going to reduce the size of the test like this then something like this then select the two take it up here and i'm going to rotate it this way then i'll position it over here so now the next one we are going to do then i'm going to create a rent angle like this then change the color to this color then we can also copy this color here or then i'm going to enter this color code here so i will enter this color here then okay ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect i will use my arrow key then to bring it down this way then i'm going to reduce the opacity to 60 then apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool and i'm going to blend the edges here then the same thing to this one then select your test tool then i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c then change your font then i'm going to use this adobe grammar pro then make it bold then ctrl plus v to paste then here is the color code ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then reduce this test size then i'm going to increase the size of this rent angle here ctrl a to align then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then select the test and the rent angle apply horizontal and vertical alignment 
Then I'm going to draw another rectangle like this. Then change the color to white. So what I'm going to do now, then this angle here, I'm going to, to apply a number to the bottom angle here to create a shape. So then the number I'm going to use here is 66 and this side is 66. Then something like this and I'm going to reduce the opacity to 32 this way then select your test tool then I'm going to paste the test here then I will break it down select all then cut it then drag your mouse like this then paste your test inside so something like this then bring it over here and reduce the size then select the rectangle and the test then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Ctrl A to select all. Apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Okay. So then I'm going to select our main design here. Then down to this place. Then use the arrow key then to drag this one up. Then the birthday, use your arrow key then to move it up this way. So we have a space now. Then now I'm going to select this one and I'm going to drag it up this way. So something like this. So and I'm going to bring this light over there. Reduce the size. Then, and I'm going to make use of screen. Then go back to your filter. Then blow, Gaussian blow. Then I'm, I will still make use of 4.2. Then I'll click OK. So you can see the light there. Then Control plus A to select all. Then I'll apply vertical alignment then Control plus d to deselect it something like this so this light here i'm going to increase the size a little then okay so the last thing now to do i'm going to bring this gift box then reduce the size Then I'll position it around the air. Yeah, it's okay. Then go back and I'm going to drag it to drag it around. I'll drag it around here. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll move this one to here. Then right click and I'm going to flip it horizontal. So something like this. Then this one, I will bring it closer over here. So that is all. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate. Then I want to also remind you that I have a Fiverr account. So if you want to order any of my graphic design, so you can go through my fiverr account then and make your order also if you want to create a fiverr account then you can check the link in the description below and also create your own fiverr account then 
I use TubeBody to optimize my video. So if you're also interested in optimizing your video, then you can check in the link below to use the link to optimize, create your own account and optimize your YouTube video. So thank you so much. I really appreciate. God bless you.